Today, I wanna to talk to you about my 10 fitness laws for longevity. The end goal is to be able to do the things I love for the rest of my life, basically until I'm on my freaking deathbed. Like, I wanna be skiing till I'm 100, I wanna be surfing when I'm 100, I wanna be doing the things I love to do for as long as possible. So, fitness law number one for longevity is if it hurts, don't do it. I'll see people just trying to work through the pain, thinking that, you know, performing more reps of an exercise that's giving them pain, maybe in the lower back, maybe it's the kneecap, the ankle. They think that just by, you know, continuing to keep on going and pushing through the pain, that it's just gonna get better. If it hurts, don't do it and figure out something else you can do instead. All right, so law number two, there is not an exercise that you just have to do, okay? So many times I'll, I'll be training people and they think like I have to back squat or I have to deadlift because it's one of those movements that is just so popular. So maybe you've had you know, some disc issues in the back. Maybe you've even had some rods or some hardware put in there. It's not gonna be the best idea for somebody that's having back pain to go into a barbell weighted squat where they have direct pressure on that spinal column and just start repping out weights, especially if we've had some of those issues. There's always exercises that we can substitute with. For example, instead of doing a back squat where the weight is on the spine in that back there, we could move to a goblet squat where we're holding the weight in the front or we could work on just gaining strength on reverse lunges where we're still working the same muscle groups, but the mechanics are completely different. Okay, so your body is one of a kind. It's way different than my body. It's way different than your friend's body. You need to listen to what your body is telling you. So if your body's telling you that it is exhausted, that it needs a break, that it needs a rest, Listen to those intuitive feelings that you have about how your body's doing, okay? If it's broken down, you need to take a day off, take a day off. If you're supposed to be, you know, hitting upper body one day, but you know, the shoulders are just not feeling right, then transition to some different muscle groups instead that day. Listen to your body, because if you do, it's gonna tell you exactly what you should be doing for it, and you're gonna stay way healthier for the long term. Okay, yeah, so law number four, Recovery is just important as our training. So, so many people, including myself, we tend to overemphasize how important our actual workouts are, when in reality, we can only train as an intense, we can only train as hard as our bodies are gonna allow us to. So, when it comes to recovery, we need to make sure that we're getting adequate sleep, that we're getting adequate water, that we're you know, foam rolling, stretching, and making sure that our bodies are loose and they're ready to go into those workouts. So the better you can recover, the better you're gonna perform, and also the longer that body's gonna last. Law number five is that consistency is more important than the intensity that we are bringing into our workouts. So I like to say that consistency is king because if you take somebody who trains consistently even just two to three times a week versus somebody that goes to the gym, trains as hard as they possibly can, six to seven days a week, takes a week off, is inconsistent with it, that person that is consistent over a long period of time is gonna get way better results in the long run than somebody that is not consistent and is sporadic with their training. So law number six, and basically what I think is probably the most important law if you want to continue training and exercising for the long run, is that you have to keep it fun. We have to be having fun when we're training. If you are dreading going to the gym every single day, you're dreading all of your workouts, that's gonna be something that you're not gonna be able to keep up, okay? So in order to keep things fun, 
you know, for me, I have to switch things up. I can't just be doing weight training six or seven days a week and not exploring other avenues of fitness. So what I've done in the last few years is I've explored, you know, the ultra endurance scene, the triathlon scene, the um, obstacle course racing scene, the trail running scene, the swimming scene, and just tried a ton of different aspects of fitness and added some of those things in to challenge myself and also to keep things fun. The other big thing in order to keep things fun is finding a community of like-minded people that you can train with and you can work out with and that can support each other with their fitness goals. And so our gym here, Lab Athletics, I love this place because I'm surrounded by amazing people every single day that are motivating me and helping me stay consistent with my goals and it's amazing. Law number seven is never stop weight training. Weight training above all other exercises is gonna be the best thing that you can do for your body as you age. The reason being is that as we get older, if we're not lifting weights, we're not stimulating our muscles, we're gonna to start to lose the amount of muscle mass that we have in our bodies. Our muscle is gonna to start to atrophy. The only thing that is gonna offset that is gonna be lifting weights, doing functional movements where we're using some sort of resistance to make sure that we're stimulating our muscles, keeping our muscles, and that's also gonna keep our metabolism up so we don't gain weight as we age. The other amazing benefit behind strength training as we get older is that it's gonna increase our bone density and keep our bones nice and dense. So the reason why so many people are going to nursing homes is because we're not strength training, we don't have dense bones, and so people are getting injured and they're not able to take care of themselves. So never stop weight training. I don't care if you're 70, 80, 90, Strength training, resistance training is the most important thing we can do. So law number eight is functional movements are king. So you don't wanna just go to a gym and go to the machines and do a machine circuit. We wanna be going through movements that we're gonna be doing in our everyday life that are gonna help us with stability, with balance, with coordination, and with strength the type of strength we're gonna to need just to perform the activities that we want to as we age. Machines are gonna be taking away the stability, the balance, the coordination. Um, and so that's why free weights, that's why strength training with barbells and just even just body weight movements are so important. If we wanna age the best and stay healthy for the longest, we wanna be performing functional movements. Let's take a, a dumbbell snatch, for example. Right here, we're bending down, we're squatting, we're exploding, throwing this dumbbell overhead, we're coming back down, exploding overhead. What this is doing, I mean, in everyday life, we're gonna have to go down, we're gonna have to pick up objects off the ground, we're gonna have to place objects and lift objects above our head, and we're also gonna have to have balance and coordination while we're doing that. Another example is the burpee, okay? So we're hopping down, we're on the ground here, we're hopping up, little hop up. Let's say we're 70, we're 80 years old, and we fall down on the ground, but we don't have the strength to get back up. That's, that's a huge problem, right? So we wanna be performing movements like squats, lunges, presses, things that we're gonna be doing in our everyday life that's gonna keep us mobile and keep us healthy forever. Okay, so law number nine is expect obstacles, expect setbacks to happen. I don't care who you are, how long you've been working out, or even how new you are to working out, but things are going to happen in life. Injuries are going to occur. Um, you know, life events are going to happen. Deaths are going to happen. Divorces might happen. Work is going to happen. There's so many excuses that we can use as to why we can't make it to the gym or why we can't work out consistently. But the thing is, is it this, this matters so much, okay? It is the choice between living a long and fulfilled life or the choice of living a long life, but not a very happy life. So make sure that you've kind of you know, pre-planned for some of these, th these things. Like, what am I gonna do if I get a small injury? How am I gonna work around this stuff? How, I gonna, how am I gonna talk to myself to make sure that I don't let this small setback turn into weeks at a time, months at a time, or even years at a time? Because I see people every single day that come in here that wish they would have started training 20 years ago, and some of those people, we cannot reverse the results of aging that have occurred 
from not being consistent with taking care of their health. Okay, law number 10 is focusing on all the benefits that you're gonna gain from exercising consistently besides just the physical benefits. Usually, you know, when, we, when people start working out, we're, we're kind of in it for some sort of physical benefit. Maybe you wanna lose some body fat, you wanna see a little bit of ab definition, you wanna look a little bit leaner in the mirror, and those are all great, and those are gonna happen as, as we progress through our fitness journeys, as we put more time into working and being consistent in the gym, but there's so many other benefits, so many bigger benefits from working out than just the way we look. So some of those benefits are gonna be your energy levels, okay? You're gonna notice that your energy levels throughout the day are going up like crazy. You're getting more done. You're gonna have a clear mind after you work out. So just mental clarity, mental self-esteem. After we work out, if we're, if we're keeping those little promises we make to ourselves throughout the day with our workouts, with our nutrition, we're gonna feel so much better about ourselves. We're gonna be gaining confidence in what we're able to accomplish um, in life through being consistent with our training here. By weight training and performing resistance training effectively, we're gonna be increasing our testosterone levels, our HGH levels just naturally, and we're gonna be feeling amazing that way as well. Sex drive, libido, all of that amazing stuff is gonna be going up. You're gonna be having a better love life. And so if we're having some bad days, we're not seeing the physical changes that we want, Think about all of the other benefits you're receiving from working out. And I guarantee you're gonna show up to the gym the next day and feel great about it. So those are my 10 laws for fitness longevity and making this a lifestyle for the rest of your life. I would love to hear if you have some other things that you think I missed, uh, maybe some of your own laws that you've applied to your fitness journey, feel free to comment below um, with some of those. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and we will see you on the next one. Get it how you live it.